guys arjita here and today we'll be creating this beautiful simple card using some stamps and i'm stamping all these beautiful images using my versafine black onyx ink i love this ink because it gives us the most crisp and sharp uh, images and that's what i wanted for this project once all the images are stamped and dry i used my sharp pair of scissors to cut them and uh, we will assemble this cluster on top of a beautiful background so this is a nice idea for those people who don't enjoy coloring they can keep their images black and white so next we had to create the background and for that i used uh, the gray flannel ink and uh, a lot of water i am just uh, using a thick uh, broad water brush to paint the entire background and I love the undertones of this grey and this is one of my most favourite greys. So once uh, this is dry, um, I will add another layer using my Brilliance ink in beige and adding it here and there initially and then I'll be going directly with the ink pad on top of this. So this will make it look like silk and especially raw silk which is not processed and very very beautiful. So the grey is going to give it the grain and the brilliance ink is going to make it uh, beautiful and uh, the sheen is just gorgeous. So now you can see that I'm going on top with the ink pad directly and this is the way I wanted my project to look. So uh, just drying it with my heat tool and next I wanted to add few more grains and texture on this uh, card and I used my gray ink uh, for that so this makes it look even more raw and beautiful now is the time to assemble the florals and uh, i used a combination of liquid glue as well as some foam tape to uh, give it more interest and lift so uh, you can just arrange it as you wish you have this beautiful card ready in minutes so to add a little uh, pop of color i decided to heat emboss my sentiment on some bright paper for that, I used the Memento Ladybug ink and scribbled it on top of a piece of paper. Next, I will uh, heat emboss a sentiment using some white embossing powder and uh, Versamark watermark ink. So, uh, I'm using my Misty for this and this makes it very, very easy and simple. You can easily do it with an with a acrylic block as well. So, just use the ink and some white embossing powder. So this is the strip which I created and I will place it on top. So this is done and our super simple minimum supplies card is ready. I used some foam dots to stick the sentiment on top of the flower again to give it a lift and more interest and dimension. So uh, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give this technique a try and uh, do share what you create with us. We love to see what you created and uh, do subscribe to the channel for more such videos and uh, visit the blog for all the supply details. So thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.